I'm just freaking out a little bit for no reason. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Piper Jasmine and there's actually a lot going on this week. I don't know if I like this like I want to stay right here. Like the sun is just never where it should be. I feel like I look so like pale. Like I am not chocolate. Did I even have a summer? I look, I'm not giving brown skin girl right now. Be Monday, it's Labor Day. And if you guys, if you guys were able to enjoy Labor Day with your friends and family and do something, I am very jealous of you. Comment down what you did this Labor Day so I can live through you guys in the comments and all the fun my life could be if I didn't choose this route. No, just kidding. The sun just disappeared again. I have no idea where that girl be over here on this side. But it's Monday, it's 10 44 a.m. And this should honestly be a pretty extensive vlog this week. I have a pretty, I feel like I have like a good bit of things happening this week. I have a, I have a farm exam tomorrow and I have a path exam on Wednesday. And then after the path exam where there's like a class event for us to kind of celebrate ending our first block and then we're going, we're jumping straight back into lectures after those two exams and yeah, I want to make plans to do something this weekend with my friends like just going out to eat going out or just something like I feel like I haven't done I feel like I haven't done anything since school started like I've just been so stressed and so I feel like just a little bit all over the place with getting my bearings and stuff with school again but but now I feel like because this first block has like come to an end I kind of feel like I'm getting my like I'm getting back into the groove of stuff. Ignore if there's trash back here. Ignore it. Like exam week. I don't even know how I survive. But I had a micro exam last week and a fundamentals of medicine exam last week. And I made honors on both of the exams. So that's been really nice to kind of have that motivation with, oh, okay, like I can do good on an exam. Keep the ball rolling. For these last two exams and so i woke up early because i had to i washed my hair yesterday but i washed it late but i had to wake up to like blow dry and straighten my hair and skipping on straight it's giving dark vibes i'm here for it i haven't straightened my hair out for real since i got this sewing like i've just been wearing i've just been wearing it curly but giving it inches okay anyways i'm getting distracted so we are finna go and have a nice little study sesh first study session of the day. Um, I studied a lot yesterday. I've been studying this whole weekend for these last two exams, like with farm and mentioning like um, in my community, if you guys like are not active on my community, um, you know, I kind of use it like Twitter basically and like share updates and stuff. But like, I was shook when I realized that I was seeing math in a lecture, like formulas, tables. <laughs> I was like, wait, and I totally understand It's like, Y'all, math was not my strong suit. I was never a math girly, like, and scary. I'm like doing these practice problems, like, what the f I don't know my logs, I don't know anti-log, like, I don't know who made it up and why we have 10 to the something power, like, I really don't. But I'm trying to be in high spirits. This exam block is almost out the way and I'm so excited because I'm so sick of studying all the time, every day. It's so, no, like, uh, no, all gas, no brakes. So, almost done. Two more exams left. My hair is clocking. It's 12.01. I have an hour left of this little study session. It's been really good. Your girl, I know my formulas. I was able to do the quiz all by myself, like, without looking at my notes, and I felt comfortable with the formula and which formula you use, so that's really good. Now I'm gonna do a second quiz that my professor has up. I'll probably do like just some practice questions um, after I finish that quiz, because I think that quiz was only like 10 questions and there's no math with that one. So it shouldn't take that long. And do some just practice questions and then go back and have some lunch. I was like, why is it kind of quiet? I'm not seeing people in or out. Um, 
someone was like, I guess you're studying today. Like, what else would I be doing today? And then I go on Instagram and I see we're on the boat. People are drinking. It's Labor Day. It's a holiday. It is a holiday. And studying for an exam, but I'm, it's, it's literally fine, you know? You have to make sacrifices if you want to do well in life and if you want to go far in life. That's exactly what I'm going to tell myself. So yeah, then I got to thinking, would the coffee shop be open today? And I, so, so that's kind of a bummer because it's really nice weather today. It's like 74 degrees. So I was kind of feeling, you know, taking the walk and stuff. But yeah, people are probably doing better things honestly. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might end up coming back here or I might go to school. Maybe like school could be fun, maybe. I don't know, I just feel like I wanna be out of my house today. So I might end up just coming back here after lunch. We'll see, we'll see. But it's time to lock in for this next hour. Almost done. And I'm feeling pretty good with my farm exam now. Like now that I'm comfortable with the math, like I feel good with all the other stuff. So it's a great sign. It's a great Monday, productive. It's 1.16 p.m. and I actually got a lot of studying done, you guys. I got through like all of the, got through all my practice questions, went through the quizzes, both quizzes. So it was a really good productive session and I feel a lot more prepared too for my exam because I was freaking out a little bit, but now like, I'm like, okay, maybe I do know this. Like, you know, it's crazy though. Sometimes I forget that I'm like a whole adult and I'm supposed to be checking my mail, so let's see if we have some good things in the mail. I doubt it is. It's probably just bills, but... Okay, so before I went to Toronto, you guys, I had an allergic reaction. And if you don't know, I'm sure you guys probably don't know because this has probably never came up. I'm allergic to tree nuts. Like, that is a reaction, right? Are we following? So, I went out to eat with Sierra literally the night before my flight you guys towards the end of dinner i was kind of like i don't know like i'm feeling kind of sick my stomach hurts so i'm automatically kind of thinking i have food poisoning. i've been to this place before and they gave me food poisoning and honestly that was probably my number one mistake like why would i go back somewhere where i have food poisoning but no like the bitch went back i was like you know their food is good maybe that was a one-time thing so no i'm feeling sick at the end of dinner and so i vividly remember calling my mom on i-75 and i'm like i really think this place gave me food poisoning like i'm feeling like i gotta throw up you know my flight is tomorrow airport is six o'clock so like, i'm gonna have to puke this up <laughs> joke was on me you guys i come home and i am on the toilet like in and out like in and out both ends vomiting like i'm like what the hell like what's going on with me so then you know i'm still packing because i wasn't packed of course i'm going through this dilemma of first world problems i know and i'm not packed for my trip yet and i leave in like four hours four okay that was an exaggeration i leave in like six hours right so i'm packing and i remember like i look in the mirror and all of a sudden my eye feels heavy bitch my eye was starting to swell shut both of my eyes and i'm like it like all of a sudden i'm like having an allergic reaction this has only happened to me like once in like the time that i can remember like being old and stuff i my mom said i had one when i was younger when she first gave me a nut but like i don't remember that so i'm like okay like this is not good i go in the mirror my abdomen whole thing hives so i'm like okay <laughs> this might be serious actually this might be a very houston we have a problem so and it's so funny because it's like i'm in medical school i should know what to do right <laughs> no so i'm like okay i'm gonna just try to take some benadryl and maybe this shit will stop an hour and a half passes by like my symptoms are getting worse i'm still throwing up i'm still shitting like it's bad and so i google 
you know, you're not supposed to Google. Google is not your doctor, okay? But it was my doctor that night. And it said I was going to anaphylaxis and I needed to go to the ER. And I'm like, the ER? I have a flight, I have to be at the airport in six hours. Like, I do not have time to go to the ER. Nah. I had to go to the ER and as I was driving there, like my lips were tingling. I was freaking the out. Like I've never had to go through a situation like that. I'm like alone. Like my mom, I don't live with my mom. My mommy can't help me. The f Anyways, I'm good now. And I say all of that because I finally got my bill and my bill for the ER is $390.83. And I just got my refund check. So I guess that I can, um, afford this me my money <laughs> that's what they said <laughs> kind of sucks because my refund just came to and now i have to <laughs> pay off my er bill because i almost died from anaphylaxis and now i think too my license is about to come i think i think this one has my license i wanted to retake it but i was holding up the line oh period it's actually like not that bad period that's exciting because I had like the 18 plus and I was just getting tired of people like looking at me crazy. Like I am over the age of 21, let me through. So, okay, I feel official now. <laughs> Guys, I've been over 21 for a while and I thought the process of getting a new license was just like way too much for my mental to like understand, but it actually wasn't that bad. I'm gonna say. Finally got a new license. Period. Um, yeah, so I'm taking a break till 2.30. It's about 1.30 right now. So I think I'm gonna eat and chill and you know, probably clean up since Trin is coming over. And that means I should probably clean my home up a little bit to be a great guest, I don't know. exam of the week and um, I got up around eight not seven like I wanted to but I was still able to like review all the main stuff that I wanted to review before I took my exam I'm honestly feeling kind of nervous <laughs> I just stood in the mirror and I was like I gave myself affirmations but I'm just feeling a tiny bit nervous right now so it's gonna go well though I already know um, I told myself this is really gonna be a quick in and out because I know the material and studying for the material and the fact that we only have one exam today like it should really be in and out like go in take the exam go home one thing one thing that kind of helps me is like just looking more put together on exam day so I like to take more time with my outfit and my hair and I'm gonna show you guys like my outfit probably when I get to school but yeah it's 9 41 what helped me you guys are seriously gonna laugh at me what helped me last time for my exam is listening to lotto and her new album like i was just singing big mama on the way to school and i'm like yeah like i'm big mama <laughs> i'm doing this for real i can do it why because i'm big mama so i think i'm gonna run it back with lotto this morning and play her album because it just it made me feel good before my exam so and i have four minutes left on here so i hope i can show a lot before <laughs> before i take my exam so Come my nigga say i'm perfect anyway about this time it's the nerve for me hold that for you dead blowing kisses at Okay, finally, this is where the good lighting is. I'm buying good lighting for the first time. Okay, so it's 9.56. I'm so nervous all of a sudden. Like, for my micro and fundamentals exam last week, I wasn't that nervous, but I'm actually kind of nervous for this. I don't know why. It's just, like, 
<laughs> it's nerve wracking. Like, do I even know farm? No, Piper, stop. I know farm. Okay. I'm just freaking out a little bit for no reason, but it's gonna be okay. I have about 30 minutes before my exam, so affirmation, good vibes, good thoughts. I'm gonna do well. I've been studying hard. I know the material and it's gonna be great almost done with this exam block and i think that's the most exciting thing that i'm looking forward to so let's go kill this exam hey guys i'm back home after my exam i don't know it's probably around 12 30 now that exam it was kind of rough i'm okay it wasn't kind of rough it wasn't that bad but still I think I'm more upset with myself because I feel like I miss I miss like the really like fine detail but simple stuff like I just saw the slide like one more time like it's not even like highly conceptualized stuff it's just a, a straight fact I didn't think it was that important for me to know but it turns out it was so yeah I thought the math was kind of difficult too like some of my answers just weren't matching any of the answer choices and I don't know. I think I calculated like I already missed three or four questions. I really can't miss any more than like 16, 17 questions on this exam to like a pass the exam and still just do kind of well. So I'm nervous about it. Thankfully, I have some more pharmacology exams to get my grade up and I don't know if maybe for farm, you know, I need to go to class for that. I go to office hours to kind of just like get some clarifying information from my professor, schedule like tutoring sessions. Um, so I'm going to be interested to see what all that I missed. I wasn't expecting like so many different kind of graph questions. Like I studied some graphs that I thought were going to be the most high yield, but it's kind of clear like once you get to the exam if you really got the takeaways that the professor was trying to have and there was definitely some stuff that was missing so i think i'm gonna chill until about two o'clock maybe like 1 30 and go to a coffee shop to study for path and kind of get myself into the groove of preparing for the next one. Hey guys, clock in, check in. It's 329 and I'm heading to the coffee shop right now. This is how I know that I'm getting getting big in medical school. Or I'm getting out of shape in medical school because I just can't do these walks. I hope you're responsible. I'm not just here by if I let this go. Hey guys, the clock in. It's 5:26, and heading back home. I got through. Oh my gosh, my I'm like burping, and my eyes are tearing up at the same time. It's just a really bad combo. Three practice exams since I've been back home. I feel like on the practice exams, I either do like really high on it or I just do average. So I feel like, you know, it's a pretty good spot for me to be. Like I definitely know the majority of the material. I think that it's when I get to like malignancies, that's where I get kind of like messed up in terms of what kind of malignancy is it and yeah so I think I'm gonna and like also the symptoms like because I feel like we didn't talk that much about the correlations in class but I do know I kind of like glazed over the last lab lecture so I think when I get home I'm going to just like re-watch the lab videos to make sure that I'm understanding all of the symptom all of the symptoms and the clinical correlations because it's like all these fucking cars behind me they're probably like what is this girl doing jaywalking but um yeah I think it's the symptoms and the clinical correlations where my gaps are and I think you're supposed to get all of that from the path lab video so that's what I think when I get home 
I'm gonna re-watch the PATH lab videos and just keep doing some practice questions and some Anki for the rest of the night. Um, I think I wanna get through like three more, three or four more practice exams. When I counted earlier, I've done like 10 of them. So I've done a lot, but I consistently miss the same stuff, which is like the, the genes or the enzymes or like the symptoms, like not knowing the symptoms. So I think that's what I'm gonna go back and watch the PATH labs. So hopefully it can all like just start making sense a little bit more because I feel like those are where my biggest gaps are. So that's the plan. I would definitely like to be done by like nine o'clock, get a good night's sleep. And luckily as well, my exam tomorrow, this would be awful if this was recorded in two times speed, so we're gonna pray. But luckily my exam tomorrow starts at 11.15. So I kind of have like a nice break, kind of. So I think when I wake up in the morning, I'm going to, now I'm like against the sun. I think when I wake up in the morning, I'm gonna redo like the past three years exams, since it'll like be most resemblance to my exam to kind of just prepare for in the morning. And of course, Anki, but yeah, and then I'm gonna be done with this exam block and then we'll be moving on to the next one. So it's going good. I'm not like too nervous about it because like I said, I definitely feel like because I keep consistently missing the same conceptual stuff, like I know what I need to do tonight to at least like get my grade up a couple of points because it'll literally be those, those points where I'm missing like all my stuff. Hold you down, baby. You supposed to drown. What she say? What did she say? He like who you think you is. Nigga, not your bitch. Hey guys, so day. It's 11:50 a.m. Wednesday. Oh, last exam of block one. I am so excited, and honestly, I'm feeling pretty good about this exam. And I love this 11:15 exam time. I was able to journal, made a cup of tea. I did my Anki cards. Um, I also reviewed some stuff. And yeah, I'm feeling really good about this exam for some reason. Like, I just have a really good feeling. So we're gonna go off of that. I'm pretty excited um, to honestly just be done with four exams in one week is crazy. But we finally made it. And um, this exam is 11.15, so I'm about to get out. I almost had an anxiety attack though because like, no parking. I am literally in, I'm in 7.03. And I'm seeing all these other cars coming, which is why I need to get out of my car so nobody thinks I'm gonna leave. But I see all these other cars coming and I know that some of these people are my classmates and we're just like, there's no parking. I don't know what's gonna happen. I hope this doesn't like prolong the exam and like, cause sometimes people come in late, it's very disruptive. So hopefully, you know, people are coming on time, you know, to figure out their parking situation. But no, I'm in 703, all the way at the very top and there was no parking. I was about to have an anxiety attack because like, where am I supposed to go? It's almost exam time. I don't have time for that. So, but yeah, let me get out the car so nobody thinks that I'm finna leave because I'm not. You know, I have a time check one. It is 12.28. We just took our PATH exam. We have mixed feelings about it. Mm -hmm. But lots, lots of feelings. Most important thing is that we are done for the day. We are done for this block, actually. So that makes it all the more ex exciting. Lauren, what are you gonna do to celebrate? Clean my apartment? <laughs> Facts. I was just thinking last night how my place is a reflection of my anxiety yeah. of school. Yeah. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm back in my car. I'm like low-key a little out of breath too because of course today out of all days the elevator would be out or just would be out and so that just, yeah. So I had to walk up of like five flights of stairs. Your girl has asthma. 
honestly that might like that was a really good exam felt pretty prepared for it there were a couple answers where i was kind of like mm, it could be this or this but i feel like at the end this is like one of the one of the times where i felt the most prepared for a, an exam so I feel good about it i don't think that i like failed it or anything so it's really good and i just felt very prepared which is really good because i don't always have those feelings like and stuff like that so it's 12 37 i don't know what i want to do like there's a lot of things that i should do but like for example i should go grocery shopping oh my god it's so hot i should go grocery shopping but i don't have my list together so and i literally have no food so i don't know if that means maybe i'll just eat out tonight and go grocery shopping tomorrow the game night is at five so We'll probably be leaving like around 5 30 to go to that i need to clean up my place so I, i'm kind of leaning towards going home and cleaning kind of getting my life together yeah i actually need to film as well but i feel like now my makeup i don't know if i can do it today i might gotta film tomorrow oh so, i don't know it kind of is just giving clean up my place a little bit because it's a mess i need to do laundry typically like sundays are my cleanup days but because I had these exams like I wasn't cleaning on Sunday and I just kind of feel like my place looks like my anxiety like if it, it, my anxiety was rolled up in a ball and it just threw up and split all over my apartment I think that's what I'm gonna do maybe make a smoothie it's kind of hot like I feel so sweaty and gross and I meant to get like some cute pictures of my outfit oh but y'all we were talking about test answers after we got out of that exam so we'll see you guys don't hate me it was so my intentions to go to the game night it's just i started re-watching fear the walking dead my stomach started grumbling doordash came um let me show you guys what i got got some fried rice this is like my favorite chinese spot too in the city that i found so far I got some veggie spring rolls. And the best thing of all that I got is orange chicken. Stuff like is so good and the proportions of the food too. Chef's kiss. I don't even know. I think I want this sauce for my spring rolls i don't even know did did i talk to you guys about my exam i don't remember honestly i've been through worse some people they were like kind of iffy with it and aren't weren't really sure how to feel i didn't really think it was that bad to be honest i thought it was one of the most like one of i think that has been the exam that i have felt the most prepared for um in my whole medical school like journey like i felt really confident with a lot of my answers and i just felt super prepared like so i thought that it went good i really hope <laughs> how i feel is how i perform oh, i'm making a mess like i hope i didn't just jinx myself so let me knock on wood was i think i said earlier that i wanted to take the day off tomorrow But then when I check the schedule, you guys, I have three classes tomorrow. And then I got to thinking, do I really want to spend Saturday or Sunday having to catch up with three lectures? Or would I rather just face the music, take the L, and just finish out the week with the bang so I can do nothing this weekend? And so, you know, when I had put it that way in my head and weighed out all the pros and cons to the situation... What is wrong with this? I was like, yeah, let me just let me just pack my backpack. Let me just make sure I got some lunch tomorrow and I'm gonna learn tomorrow. <laughs> Yay. Great thing about this week is that it's almost the end of the week. It's Wednesday now, so I only have Thursday and Friday for lecture. If I had to be positive. If I had to say something positive. Um, I feel like I was going to say something else. 
I put in, I'm going to show you guys like after I eat, but I put in my, the rest of my notion for this block. I thought I was going to be going into a whole new block. This block has like, this foundations block has two exams. So we're not on to the next block, but you know, we're on to the next exam. It looks quite hectic and I'm going to show you guys what I mean. But um, other than that, I'm just chilling, like watching TV on TikTok, eating Chinese food. I think that this is like the perfect way to end the day.